This is how you do Mega Menu on Bricks Builder without using any extra code. You will be using the interactions feature, but this is so simple it's going to blow your mind. This comes as a thanks from Sergio Russ, who's a Bricks Builder user, who reached out to me and shared this method. Let's get started. First, let's add in a section with the container. Into the container, we are going to drop in a button. The idea is that every time we hover over a button, it will reveal another set of information, which might be headers, images, videos, whatever you want. Remember, this is Flexbox containers. You can do what you want inside of here. Only thing I'm going to do at the moment to the section is give this a little bit of padding. I'm not going to add any padding at the bottom because that's the point where we start to hit the mega menu. But what we have here is a button. Next, we're going to add in another section container below. This is now sits in its own area. Into this container, I'm going to drop in a block and into the block, I'm going to drop in a header, actually multiple headers. I'm going to add some padding to my block, something like that. And just to show you that this does definitely still work, I'm going to go to my header, go to content, and I'm going to say, take this over to not an external, to an internal URL, and we'll just send it to one of my test pages like that. Now give section two a class name. We're going to go over here, click rename, and we are going to change this to be mega underscore one like that and make sure you save that then you want to change the display of that section to be none now don't worry it completely disappears but we are going to bring it back with some interaction click the icon over here for interaction and the first we're going to activate is the hover action so we're going to say that when you hover we want this to show the element we are going to select the css selector to be the target and the selector name is going to be hashtag mega underscore one. I'm just going to copy that for a moment because it makes it easier to do what I'm about to do next. We are then going to go and add in another interaction. This one is going to be mouse leave. The action will be hide element. Again, CSS selector and the selector is going to be hashtag mega underscore one. Remember, when you name the section, you don't put a mega in there, but when you're using it for a CSS selector, you need to put the hashtag in. That is now done. However, if I hover over there, nothing is going to happen. What we now need to do is click on the button. So everything we did was on the second section. Now go back to the original button and now we're going to add in some interactions. And this is now a replica of what we've just done. So we are going to go for hover. We're going to go for show element and we are going to go for CSS selector and drop in mega one. And then we add in another one. And this is going to be the same thing again. Mouse leave. We will go for hide element, CSS selector, and again, you pop in mega one. So let's just now save that and preview it. Well, if I move my mouse anywhere here, nothing's going to happen. I go to the button and the mega menu appears. And look, I can interact with it. So if I hover over here, you should now see at the bottom left hand side, the, uh, the URL link for where this would go. It goes over to a loop page. I'm going to duplicate this button. So now we have two buttons. Let's go to our container. Let's set it to be a row. And for now, I'm just going to go with space around like that. I'm now going to duplicate section that we already had. I'm going to call this one mega two. And for simplicity, just so that we know it's definitely working, I'm going to go and give this a background color. We'll go with a gray color like that. I'm also going to rename this. So we're going to go over here and we're going to hit rename. And I'm going to call this one mega underscore two. And of course, if ever you wanted to change any of the items in here, you could do, you could just go over to mega two and then get rid of the non so that now we can see the items. This is if you wanted to put in whatever you want to show an icon list, further images. Like I said, you could even put an accordion or slides in there. Let's pop the display for this back to be none. And we now go through the same motions as what we did before for this new section. So we go over to interactions. We click on the hover. It's already duplicated it over for us. And what we're going to do is just change that to be for mega two. Close that, go to the mouse sleeve and now change that one as well. That's what's really cool about this method. Once you've done it once, it is so much, it's so easy and simple to kind of do it again. Now let's go over to button two. Again, go over here. Let's change that to be a two. And we go to mouse sleeve and again, set that to be a two. When I hover over the first button, the mega menu appears. I can move anywhere around and I go to the second button 
and we now have the second mega menu. But what happens when you go over to the mobile menu? Well, it does still work. All you've got to now do though is think about your layout. So we can see the mega menu is still working, but the obvious thing is go to your megas, set the display to be flex again, and basically just rework the style of it, of how it's going to look. Big thanks to Sergio Russ for a really innovative way of doing a mega menu with no extra code and you're just using the interactions feature built into Bricks Builder. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.